Hey everybody. Well, first things first, let's talk about the hair. Uh, we all know ADHD and lack of impulse control. So, um, well, I, first of all, I love it. I'm not mad about it. I've always, always wanted to do a buzz cut. So I did it myself, um, the day before my psychological evaluation which was really interesting. It was a long process, but I think that, you know, I think I passed. I think that I, I'm going to be diagnosed with ADHD, so we will see. But um, I find out my results in a few weeks via a Zoom call, which is good. I don't have to go down to the city again, so I'm very glad about that. Um, but I wanted to actually talk about, uh, dental work and my dental work. So I have my follow-up for my root canal tomorrow, and I just noticed tonight, uh, what I think, I mean, I'm not a dentist, but I'm pretty sure it is an abscess in the back of my mouth down here in, um, next to the last tooth in my lower jaw. So, um, that will mean I probably need another root canal in addition to the one that they're currently working on. And then I also need a root canal in this tooth up here. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically, uh, when I'm in there, t mention the abscess and be like, okay, so what can we do to fix my teeth? What is going to be the best option for me? Um, I'm thinking it's probably going to be dental implants because, I mean... Look at these chomfers. Look at these teeth. They're not good. I've had bad teeth my whole life. Um, when I was younger and I went to the dentist, I know that I they recommended I needed braces and we couldn't afford it. So here's the thing though. Um, I touched on in a previous video. My mother has, you know, she. I'm not going to diagnose her with any mental illness. She definitely has some, if I were to diagnose her with a mental illness, I would honestly diagnose her with being a sociopath. Truly, I believe that she could be a sociopath. But, um, so she doesn't have very good spending habits. So even though my father had a very good job, you know, my sister was in high, Catholic high school. Um, I was going to Catholic school. So, you know, maybe we really didn't have money to cover the, uh, the braces. I don't know. But, um, then when I was in my 20s, I had a root canal and the dentist said to me again, then, you know, you really need to consider braces because your teeth are not aligned right and it's going to cause you problems down the road. Well, flash to now I'm 36 year old, 36 years old and I'm seeing those problems. So, um, so yeah, my lack of dental care as a child, I definitely attribute to, um, to my mother and, you know, I mean, I don't know. I was a child, so I don't know the financial situation, but I know that my father had a very good job that did have insurance. I remember a dentist saying it and then my parents talking to the dentist and it was, dent, braces at that time were not covered. So, um, but I think that, you know, if they would have worked something out, a payment plan, that sort of thing, and I got braces. I would definitely have a better, healthier uh, smile and gums today. And um, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to say, what are the options I can do? And I know that it's probably going to cost up at least, say, oh, I don't know, I'm just guessing $20,000. So unfortunately, even though I am still dealing with a lot, emotionally working on my ADHD evaluation and everything I'm gonna I know that I'm gonna have to get a job so I'm looking for a job that I might actually enjoy that can make money but um so um yeah I just wanted to vent about that I was I was crying and angry on our walk and I'm so blessed to have Alyssa to help me work through that um but I'm angry and I'm sad about it because um, I feel like that I definitely was neglected as a child. And um, I, again, I attribute that to my biological mother. Now, I do have, I have had a tumultuous relationship with my father. And, um, you know, growing up, we butted heads a lot. We're both very strong-willed people. And so um, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to put 100% of the blame 
on my mother for my neglect of my oral health, but definitely uh, most of it because I do believe that her lack of spend, her lack of control in the financial department, um, and just you know in general. Um, so one other thing that um makes me angry is my um sister is my half sister. Her father died when she was three years old, and then oh, I was born when she was eight. My um dad came into the picture. So so for my sister's whole life until you know my parents got divorced and the separation got kind of ugly there um for my whole life my sister called my dad dad he was her father but um and he would have adopted her because he always considered her a daughter and he always to this day even though he doesn't have a relationship with her says he has three children so he tells people you know he has two daughters and a son so he um, always treated her like a daughter and looked at her as a daughter, but my mother never let him legally adopt her. She always kept her father's name, and, and he even, you know, I was close. I called her cousins, my cousins that are technically her cousins, and my dad made sure she was connected to her biological father's family. So um, so the more I think about it, the um, angrier I get about it because... um. My father was the one making most of the money. I mean, my mom had odd jobs, babysitting jobs, uh, etc. But my father worked for the electric company and he was the one bringing the money and he paid for my sister's medical care. She was on his medical insurance and um, he paid for Catholic high school. So um, if the money wasn't being spent that way, you know, on a Catholic high school expensive, Catholic high school is expensive, and, um, he paid for my sister to go to Catholic high school, so if he wasn't going to be allowed to adopt her legally, I, I, you know, he was doing that because he loved her, and he looked at her as a daughter, and so it's a bit hurtful that because of that decision, it might have affected my not getting the, um, getting braces. So, I'm working through my feelings. I'm a little bit angry, a little bit um, sad, a little bit of everything. So, so I'm just going to end it there and just say once again, if you have any money to spare, you know, even if it's a dollar, if you want to send me money to my paypal or my venmo it would be greatly appreciated because um, i'm looking for a job now you know it's difficult to find a job that i'm gonna enjoy and feel safe in and whatever but um i'm looking for a job so that i can be able to pay that back because i do not expect my family to give me you know at twenty thousand dollars for this i i, I know that they will definitely lay it out for me but I, I definitely want to pay that back I don't feel right taking that so that much amount of money so in the meantime if you want to if you like my content if you want to hit me up with a donation it's greatly appreciated or just you know give me a comment give me a like um not even to get my numbers up so I can monetize this channel just because I like feedback so all right, that's it, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And prioritize your health, both the physical and mental. You know, find a way to take care of yourself. I know times are hard for everybody, but you're the, you got to take care of yourself before you can take care of other people because you can't pour from an empty cup. So take care of yourselves, everybody. Bye.